Look at what God said. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Come on, read it again. Woe unto them that call good evil and that call evil good and good evil. The scripture says, destruction unto them that call good evil and evil good. This brother just came up and said, Paul is the devil. He wasn't a chosen vessel. But we just went to the two scriptures, two precepts, show you that he was what? Come on, he's a chosen vessel. He's a chosen vessel. So this one, bro, you got it. You, you do you love Christ? Okay, watch this. Give me the video. Give, give me First Corinthians one. Um, we gonna see. We gonna see. First Corinthians one. So why do you wear your mitra on your your head? Yeah, let me know what. Always wear it because you know, first I need to cover up my hair. Huh? My hair is so bad, so I always cover up my hair. Okay, now watch this. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. This is a law. This is a law. This is what Paul is telling us in these last days. He said, I want you to follow me as I follow Christ. Remember, Christ taught him the gospel. Remember, he ain't speak when he was persuading men of Christ. How would, where was he persuading them out of? Out of the law of Moses and the prophets. So he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Watch this. Now I praise you, brother, that you remember in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Go ahead. But I will have you know Listen to this. that the head of every man is Christ. He said the head of every man is Christ. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Watch this. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So he just gave us a word. He just gave us the pecking order. So you got the most high, you got Christ, and you got man. Man's head is Christ, Christ's head is the most high. The woman's head is the man. Now listen to what he said. Remember he said, keep these ordinances that I give to you. Be a follower of me as I am of Christ. Watch this. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. He said, if you're a man and you pray or you prophesy, what are we doing right now? We prophesying. We prophesying about the gospel of Christ. He said, if you're a man and you prophesying about the gospel of Christ and you got your head covered, it says you dishonor Christ. Christ is our man. This so-called white man has told us that the woman is over the man. That's the Willie Lynch letter. You understand? What Christ said is the father, it's the, the, the Christ, man, and the woman. That's the order of operations. That's right. We don't even believe in that today. Now we believe in Steve and Steve and freaking, uh, give me two female names. Uh, uh, Kim and Kim. Non-binary. Yeah, non-binary. You understand? But the Lord said is the Father, Christ, man, and a woman. If you pray and prophesy with your head covered, you decide to know it, Christ. So what should you do if you love Christ? And I prophesy with my head covered. So what should you do? Bring it out. Huh? You got to show you love Christ. You see, this thing is an action word, bro. Right, right, right. You understand? You can't just, you can't, we can't just say, hey, I love Christ. You understand? With our mouth, we can't say, hey, I'm prophesying to Christ. I'm trying to cut this brother up. Meanwhile, we're in the midst of sin. It's never going to work. The Lord said, I'm going to confound you if you were in the midst of sin. You understand? So we try to. So we try to help you. What are the steps to help you understand how to bring out the proper understanding of the Bible? You have to keep the precepts. One of the precepts is if you pray or you prophesy, you would have missed the prophecy. Remove your head. Remove your head coat. That's the spirit of It don't matter, bro. Look at these brothers out here. I already know, yeah. Look at this brother. Look at this brother. There you are. Look at this brother. <laughs> You understand? Brothers is out here doing the thing, bro. And we gotta embrace that, bro. Don't you know, bro, I'm gonna spoil. Don't you know the stuff that's on our head, this wood, that's the author of profession? That's the author. The Lord said, you the author of profession, that's what I gave you. 
You understand? So it should, you should never be embarrassed about your hair, bro. Never. You are, you, you, you are the glory of Christ. That's right. <laughs> we don't even know you don't even know that. You are representing Christ walking this earth. So that's why they want you to put all that stuff on our heads, bro. You understand? So this is that's a form of repentance. Give me that second answer right quick. Second answer, what is it? 14, 14? I'm starting at 13. This is the first stage of repentance, coming back to your laws, coming back to the true understanding. Once you do that, then you'll be able to go into the scriptures, precept of precept, and be able to explain it without getting mad. You see, seven years ago, when my man was standing right there, I would've got pissed the hell off. Oh, shut the hell up, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, now the Spirit of God is on me, you've been studying. Now, okay. Now you gotta just go into the priest, you just read what the Bible says. Because you stayed up, you keep it in commandments. You can't be confounded. You understand? Now watch this. Give me that second answer. Second answer, chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. One of the first things he told the black man to do is what? Set thine house in order. Said the first thing you gotta do is get your mind right. You that this vessel that we in right now, this is our house. This house in the spirit that we have. He said, get your house in order. That's the first thing you do. Watch this. And in talking about your family. You married? You, may, you, you married? How long have you been married? All uh, praises to the Father, bro. All uh, praises. So this is the first thing you got to do. Get your mind right. Then get your woman in order. Already, yeah. Trust. We, we, we live by God. Every day in my house. Okay, all praises. So don't read the Bible no more with your head covered. Oh, I never read the Bible with my head, though. Okay, all right, all right. I only do this when I'm out Okay, all right, please. Now, I represent Christ, though. Yeah, yeah, all right, read. Yeah. Therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people. Now it's time to come out, then you correct your people. But the first thing you got to do first, get your house in order. Right, right. Then you come out. It's an operation. It's levels to it. You understand? Yeah. So we got a school. You got a flyer? Yeah, I got one. We got a school over in Kansas. You got a car, too? Yeah, I was, I was one of the red charges. Yes, I thought I seen you right yeah, there. I, I'm not going to Come to the school, yeah, bro. Yeah. Come to the school today. Today is the Sabbath. Today, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So what do we got to do on the Sabbath? We got to pray. We got to give God his faith. No, but it's more than that. You know, everybody's praying today, bro. Hell, they pray before they start beating the drums. I wouldn't say everybody's praying. Yeah, I just, I seen them. They was all standing in a circle, bro. Giving, yeah, yeah, pray, yeah, yeah. let's make sure. Everybody's praying. So out. what did God tell us to do? Give me Leviticus 23, yo. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 2. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. Come on. And say unto them Come on. concerning the feast of the Lord, Come on. which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. What are they supposed to be? Holy convocation. Our convocation is a gathering. You're supposed to gather with like-minded brothers and sisters. That's right. You're supposed to gather with your brothers. Your wife is supposed to gather with like-minded sisters. We don't hang with nobody, though, because we can't find nobody there. Uh, hello. <laughs> Bring it out. Who is the king? Christ. Who is the king? Christ. Who is so you can't even use that excuse no more. Know, right? So come out to the school. Today is the holy convocation, alright? So all praise to the most high man. Hey, make sure. Nation is men leading by example.